All right, here we are in Adobe Illustrator again. Um, this is part four of my quick series to uh, get you up to speed on how to use Illustrator. So this one is going to be alignment and guides and um, some quick preferences. So um, for guides, uh, the basic way to do it is go to view, make sure you have your rulers out, show rulers, and then you can just dr drag a guide out. See that? You can drag it that way and you can drag it this way. And um, if you hold, see how I'm at 600, uh, I believe these are in pixels, 700, 800. If I hold shift, it'll snap to each one. I'm just, see how it's sticking? So that's pretty helpful if you need uh, if you need that. So you've got vertical and um, uh, horizontal guide, but I can't click on them. You can see that I cannot do that, right? Um, they're locked. So uh, go to view guides and then you can unlock guides if you need to move them around now you can select them like they're objects you can even drag like that and do it and you can grab both of them and do it kind of like crosshairs you know like a sniper so um yeah so that's what we got with guides uh moving them and then you can clear them view so it's all in here I mean, guides uh clear i'm going to undo that and then uh if you have a shape like say a custom shape you have here right boom draw this out um like this is this this is a regular rectangle these aren't guides or anything like that um but if i want to make this a guide you can do this with any shape uh, it doesn't matter i'll do it for a circle just for a just to show you what that looks like because it's pretty unusual um view guides and then make guides so now i have a circular guide it, it acts like a regular guide see if i lock it if i go up here to view guides and lock now it is a guide so that's pretty cool um and one more thing I can do here is if you unlock the guides, unlock, and then I can grab this guy and I can make it back into a circle. See, let's watch. Release guides. So now it's back to what it was. So that's the basics uh, with guides. And guides are, I mean, you can use them for so many things. They're really powerful. So um, I am going to get rid of those for now. And I'm going to jump into alignment, which does have something to do with guides. So I'll bring the guides back in a second. But um Let's say we have some text, right? Um, not on a path, a regular type. I'm just going to type out text. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to make that a little bigger here. If you hold shift, uh, it keeps it proportional. And I'm going to grab a, make a little circle. Now, say I wanted um, this circle here to be aligned to the left side of the page, the very left side of the page. You have your alignment uh, up here. I've mentioned this in my other uh, videos in this series. Uh, to get this this toolbar up at the top, make sure you have window and control selected. That's called your control bar. So whatever you're doing, it changes. Like there's no fonts up here right now, but if I type, if I click on this, my font selection shows up. So that's a pretty cool one. But um, so make sure that's up there because you have your alignments here, and then this is aligned to uh, certain things artboard selection i'm going to actually pull the alignment palette out it's much more powerful and then you just go uh options now you can see everything here so um at the moment you click on this this is aligned to you can hold it over there artboard so this is going to align to the page itself so if i hit center it's going to put it right in the center of the page if i want to do center uh, vertically boom it's not going to get any cent more centered than that that's the computer saying this is pixel perfect center i want to go to the left i want to go to the right see this is kind of fun right <laughs> um yeah so and then we've got top bottom so uh i would suggest playing with this just you know Click around, uh, undo it. You know, that's what undo is for. Just go for it. And now, um, say we want to, we have this over here. And typically, if you grab two items and I hit align, watch this. It's just going to stick them kind of like in the average, probably either right around here somewhere. So watch this. See that? It's like the average of where they were. But let's say we want to do, uh, we want to bring this, this text uh, right underneath this. I don't want any the circle to move at all so um i'm going to grab both of them and then i'm going to change this c key object here right what you do here is is yeah you, you you can click on what your key object is you don't have to uh, hold shift or anything just click on it and then it, it so it gives you a different selection here now if i hit center it's going to move just that text over see that the circle didn't move so that's actually something that is not the easiest thing to figure out unless someone tells you exactly where to click because it i've I've taught that to so many people in my life. It's I can't even count. So um, 
that's a really good one for alignment. You know, and then you can align. You know, obviously, if I switch back to artboard here and then click, you know, you can align all, both things at the same time. No worries on that. You know, and then um, let's go back to guides. I'm going to pull a guide out again, and I'm going to bring the circle over. And you see how I'm getting close, but it it's like not aligning. Like, are you sure it's right on it? You know. So what you want to do? Go to view and pull down to uh. Where are we? Smart guides. Boom. So turn smart guides on. And um, yeah, see that? Now it's snapping over there. Boom. It's connecting. And it even does it to the center. It can right there. And, you know, the other side. Now it snaps. So now you don't really have to sit there and zoom in because you can get all, you can get super zoomed in on it. But rest assured, if you have your smart guides on, it'll snap. Um, pretty rad. And then, you know, up here, you, you can change your units for your guides. Um, quickly uh, by right clicking here. I've shown this in other videos in this playlist, but it's always a good refresher, just so fast to do it up there. Um, and you know the, the way to do it for all your settings going forward, your documents going forward is up in preferences. That'll make it so anytime you make a new document, it's going to be in whatever you have chosen here. So um, that's the basics of guides and alignment. Uh, hopefully that helped. If it did, uh, hit like, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, it helps a lot. And the next one is the final one is uh, how to save and export things in different formats. So make sure to check that one out too if you need to. All right. We'll see you there.